Hello everybody, welcome to IT Skills Channel. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at something that usually you don't do. We're in the cloud right now, we're our Azure public cloud. We have a couple of VMs, we have subscriptions. It's been great, but then we started to run out of money because Azure is not cheap. And this is not to say that it's too expensive either, but for our purposes, we can't afford it. So what I'm trying to do is here is move couple services from Azure to my environment. In this case, I could move it into one of my hypervisor, a Nutanix or VMware, just to get them off the public cloud. So what I'm going to do is start off with moving with this machine. This machine is very important to me. This is my Windows 11 machine. I do have a lot of things in there. And let me try to log into it first. So I need to move this machine over to our private cloud. Otherwise, we're going to have to pay for it. And it's not cheap. So let me log in first. This machine, I've been doing a lot with it. You can see all the script I have developed. I have a lot of things in there that I do not want it to lose. Even if my staying up with the Azure is not going to be possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the disk size of the machine. By, so give or take 20 gigs. So I'm going to go ahead and log out of this. In this case, we're going to shut it down. Shut down, down. And then we'll go ahead, download the VH to do that. Now... This machine review, make sure it's still not turned on. You can see it's still running. Even It needs to be stopped completely. And then once it's stopped, we will do that. The other thing we could do, because we have a couple of machines we have to deal with, while this is doing its final operation of shutdown, we will take a look at how to do the same thing. So the main thing is that when you're downloading on a machine as big as this, you're going to run out of space real quick. If you don't have enough, so the machine you, know, you can see is shut down, still running, it says, but it started at the moment. So the machine is definitely in the state, and uh, you, the, there's nothing there. I'm gonna hit stop just to. So, what we can do is we can go to settings, disks, and then over here on the disk here, options. Over here, create a snapshot, delete. If we got a drop down menu, click on settings and then disk export. We will wait for the option to give us URLs because the machine is not in this allocated stage that and let's go back to hit yes. And we'll wait for this to allocate over here to disks. Click on the disk, click on on the disk here, and we have a URL now we can generate. I'm gonna come over here, copy here, the link, and we wanna come over here, put it on a pad plus. We're gonna we're gonna create a new tab, and then we're gonna come over here, load VHD. And hold on, where is it going here? Because that's what we're dealing with a lot of a big, huge size, so it's because. Let me make sure where I see where it's going. It's trying to not go there. I know my downloads where places. Let me do fix something real quick. Fix my download folder, download settings. Right now it's going to that folder to go to this PC. Let's put in a folder called. So all the downloads should be there now. And then let's check our, you can see that it is still gonna take a long time. Hello everybody, welcome to IT Skills channel. My name is Aiden. As you can see over here, we downloaded the VHD. I just signed out the sign-in because this is a long process. And so what we need to do is I'm actually gonna refresh the session and log in and etc. And then that way we can get it. But we don't need to do that anymore. We actually finished downloading our VHD and our VHD happens to be right here. Let me go to here. I got multiple drives and here I'm, I just named the folder. 
I just named the folder 2024 Azure VHD. And here is what's called. It's about 133 gigabyte. And you can confirm the size over here, 127 actually. So this is what we're gonna do now. Since we did that, we're gonna hit unblock. And uh, we can now go upload the VHD to any hypervisor we want to. I'm currently uploading it to a Nutanix environment. Right now it's a 21%. I already did that. Once I finish uploading it, then I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to a, a VM and then see how it works. But that's simply all it is. And uh, it's definitely a long process, but it's definitely worth it. And in this case, I will be doing the same thing with the rest of the other servers I have. And uh, we're gonna make it happen because our goal is to reduce the price we have to pay to Azure subscription. We got it, no choice but to do that. Otherwise, we're gonna have to come up with a bill and we don't have that money right now. So yeah, that's all I got guys. Thank you for watching and you have a great rest of the day. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do more of this thing. The most important machine is this one to me. But those other ones, like my DC in Azure and my AD Connect in Azure, we also gonna up, you know, get it, download those. So let's start with the DC, and then we're gonna click on disks. Click on disks. Click on export, and then generate the URL. And then we're going to go ahead and hit download VHD file. And so it's going to do the same thing again. And then we're going to do one last thing. Let's duplicate the tab. Go back home. Virtual machine. We'll do the same thing with AD Connect. Click on here. Disks. Disk and then export disk generate url and we're gonna hit download once more so by default the file name sucks because it just names a b c d but it is the vhd and uh, yeah it's gonna be good uh what else we can do another one I don't think I have another one. The other one, it says IT skills. I don't think I need that one. But for the sake of uh, making sure we get everything off of it here, we can download this one too. But you, the main thing to remember is that doing this is all easy, but you have to make sure your VMs, the VMs are deallocated status. They're stopped and deallocated. Otherwise, it will not work. And finally, you also have to click on the VM itself. You have to click on disk. And then after disks, you have to click on the disk name. And then under the settings, it's going to minimize under settings. You're going to click on disk export. And you have to generate the URL. This one, I have a couple of them, actually. I have a guest VM state and also VHD. So I could download it if I want to. But for now, I'm going to leave it with those two. I have one gig pipeline, and it's going to take a long time. The other one, I think it took like almost, you know, three hours, really, because you're dealing with the Azure pipelining, you know, basically throttling if they wanted to. So, but it, maybe it wasn't exactly three hours, but it was definitely a long time. An hour or two, maybe. But that's it. Yeah, so that's all I got, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of the day. Peace.